All right, guys, we are back on Bless Unleashed Beta here to continue our time. Um, just going to pretty much continue here. We're going to head this way towards the uh, Fresh Potatoes and the Talk to Olvera at the Plaza Quest. So let's go ahead and collect one of these potatoes. And I don't actually know... Oh, we just need to meet Rihanna the Cook. Oh, is that this way? I'm, I'm hoping... Oh, actually, you know what I just noticed? On the icons, um, there's actually... It tells you which way to go. So that's cool. Uh, let's go finish this side quest first, and then we'll do the main quest. I don't want to... I don't have a whole ton of time, and I doubt that any of this beta stuff will carry over. So I'll probably, going forward, try to stick to the main quest only and ignore side quests but uh when the full game comes out i will fully delve into the side quests and all of that different stuff but for now i think it's better to try to get as much of this done as possible by doing the main quest i think that's just the best thing to do and obviously um there will be videos of this after the beta goes down i'll have videos of this recorded and they will obviously <laughs> Continue. I'm not going to just scrap them as soon as the uh, the beta is over. Shh, keep your voice down. We're not supposed to talk about the food that comes through here. You don't want any part of this trouble. Just drop them off and get going. What kind of trouble? Rihanna, this is ridiculous. We can't keep cooking for these people. It isn't worth the money. Let's just go back to selling mushrooms like we used to do. Wait, who is the food for? Shut up. Just drop it, okay? Please, you're putting our lives in danger. You sure I can't help somehow? Actually, wait, you can help. If you could get us a fresh batch of mushrooms to sell, we wouldn't need this stinking job. You do know how to use a weapon, don't you? Our usual mushroom hunter left months ago. A weapon to gather mushrooms? Are you serious? We're not talking about cute little toadstools you gather from the meadow. Here, we need Karzakor mushrooms. Big fame carnivorous fungi. Delicious with butter. You get us some of those, and we can make enough money to get out of the demolished district for good. Guess I can give it a try. Uh, you'd be a real hero if you did. I've had a notice up on the bulletin board outside town for weeks, but no one's answered. Go check it out. Hunt the mushrooms, and I'll scrape together some coin for you when you get back. Uh, I'll go read the bulletin. Then. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the main quest. We, uh, we did that side quest, and I think it's time to get back to doing the main quest. Sorry if I sniff during this video. My allergies are kind of acting up. And so, I'm trying not to sneeze. <laughs> so, that means I do need to sniff a little bit, and I apologize in advance. I don't know why my nose is so... Well, I don't know why my allergies are acting up. It's winter. I have, like, fall and spring allergies. So I don't know what's happening, but they are acting up. You live. I'm so glad you made it out of Tolarian safely. I and some others managed to escape by boat during the attack. As a fate spinner, I am ashamed I didn't see it coming. I'm so sorry. No one could have predicted this. But this was the Temple of Telios, a holy place. I just don't understand. For that hooded mage to murder the high priestess in her own temple, I, to desecrate Telerion, he must either be extremely powerful or quite mad to anger the gods in such a way. Why didn't the White Flame protect us? I don't know. The White Flame of Telerion has kept the island safe for generations. Whatever allowed that man to attack you, whatever magic he used to kill Demia, it wasn't mortal. To assault an island under the protection of a god would suggest divine powers of his own. Think another god helped him? I fear so. Not all gods are as ben 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 benevolent as your Telios. Some are darker, vengeful. When we, meet, when we met that day, I told you many gods were watching you. Perhaps this was one of them. But enough of these sad thoughts for now. Have you come to purchase a uh, starseed? What are starseeds? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot you didn't grow up on the mainland. You wouldn't know. Starseeds are tiny orbs that contain ancient magic. We fate spinners use them in our fortune deli. Because they are so valuable, starseeds have become a common currency in the Federation. What can they be used for? All sorts of things. If you are badly injured, crushing starseeds to release their magic will heal you, and the teleposts, which allow you to teleport from place to place, can be powered with them as well. But most importantly, they are the preferred currency of many merchants and vendors throughout Lumios. I see. As a fate spinner, I help to regulate the flow of starseeds and exchange them for gold when needed. If you ever find yourself running low, just come to me. I'll be happy to sell you some more. I only ask that you don't buy too many at once. If you do, I'll have to raise the price to compensate. Keep that in mind. Thank you. Acquiring starseeds. 
You can exchange your gold for stars. Okay, that gives you like three seconds to read it. All right, so now we need to speak with Urbis. More speaking quests. I don't know. Someone let me know in this video. I It'll happen in the next video or two. I don't know if this video will go live, when this video will go live, but someone let me know. Do you want me to just cut out the dialogue sections and just get to combat and all of that different stuff, or do you want me to do what I'm doing here? Uh, oh god, someone please do something. Ugh, of all things, why did it have to be bugs? Giant bugs, what's the matter? Some lunatic placed these gigantic insects in the professor's room. That's what. Think of the damage they could cause. There's so much important equipment and oh no, not to mention the professor's staff. You've got to get in there. I'll see what I can do for you, buddy. Alright. I don't remember how to play this game. Oh my gosh. There's the... Okay, X. Switching back and forth between games at this time is a little harder than I remember. So, yeah, we gotta we gotta get used to this. Gotta get used to switching back between Black Desert and this, because they are really different. They are not anywhere near the same. Calm down. They're just arthropods, right? Probably belonging to the order of Hymen, Hymenoptera. Hymenoptera? Uh, their bodies consist of three sections, head, torso, and abdo. Oh, sweet gods, you've, you're covered in goo. What happened in there? Are they gone? Did you get rid of them? Please say yes. Don't worry, buddy, they are gone. Really, I'm saved. I'm guessing you're the one the professor sent over, right? Her staff is still in her room. At least, I hope it is. Would you mind sifting through the bug parts to find it? I'd probably faint. Yes, no problem. We also got some gloves, which are nice. Investigate... See if I can... What? It won't let me... What the... Okay, there we go. Um, investigate the magic chest. Why didn't it just have us... Okay. I gotta wait for it to respawn. Okay, while well, I'm waiting for that, let's go ahead and put on the gloves. And, of course, while I'm doing that, that person comes in and takes it. There we go. Okay, so we need to inform Urbis about the situation. Hello, buddy. I'm sorry you had to witness such an undignified episode earlier. Did you manage to find the professor's staff? Please tell me it was there. It should have been in the chest. The bugs didn't eat it, did they? No, sta no staff, but I found this weird mulch. Uh, what is that ungodly odor? What? It's fertilizer. I see it. I see it. Ne no need to wave it in front of my face, thank you. Something this gross probably belongs in the Arcane Agriculture Department. Could they be behind this? I doubt it. Though I did hear they were testing a new fertilizer recently. Professor Vettino leaves that department, but he's not the sort of to misplace an experiment. You should talk to his assistant, Alma. She's probably around here somewhere. I will do so. Hello, Alma. Just look at this. Expensive tomes strewn across the floor like rubbish. Those stupid bugs trashed the office and threw the professor's books all over the place. You're Professor Vettino's assistant, correct? Correct. Although right now I feel more like the campus custodian. Well, are you just going to stand there or will you make yourself useful? The professor's notes might have been damaged. If I lose them, I'm done for. I'll help you, then we'll talk. So I just have to pick up books for you? Okay, we're not reading every single one of these books that I pick up. I, that's that's just that's where I draw the line. Look at how long this is. Where there's even read more. Yeah, we're not. I I that's where I draw the line on me reading. Thanks for your help. I swear, not a day goes by in the school without some kind of disaster. As if the basilisks uh, in the bathroom last week wasn't bad enough. Uh, where is Professor Vettino? He left campus earlier to gather an ingredient for his new fertilizer formula. The material we've been using is so rare, only the professor knows where to get it. Uh, someone at the entrance might have spotted him. Try asking around there. Thanks for the tip. Alright, so it doesn't want us to ask the guard. It wants us to ask the university student. Where did Professor Vettino go? I need to sit, uh, to sit for a test soon. Sit for a test soon. Are you looking for Professor Vettino? Ah, uh, yes. You're from the Arcane Agriculture Department, too? Great. The professor dropped his notes, but I have to get to an exam soon. You'll make sure he gets them, right? I can't be late. 
Uh, well, I'm also looking for him. Perfect. When you find him, you can deliver the notes. Glad that sorted out. I need to cram for this religion final. See you. Now, just a second. Okay, there's more notes that I... I just... That's, that's a lot of notes. We're just asking me to read a lot of notes that I don't want to read. We'd be sitting here listening to me read forever if we read all of those notes. That's a lot of notes. Wow, it comes full circle. Hello, Marco. What are you doing here? Where's Giovanni? I haven't seen him since we left the farm. He never came back home after leaving with you? I figure he's gotten himself into some kind of trouble. I know he used to hang out with a group of thugs from the district, so I came to look for him. Wait, how did you get into the city? I have my ways. You should be careful in the demolished district, though. It's a haven for thieves and cutthroats. If you're going in, we should stick together. We can watch each other's backs if we get ambushed. You sure you're in? You're up for this? Haha, <laughs> what you think you get scars like this for, or these from a life of peaceful farming? I may have been retired for a while now, but I can still handle a few masked bandits. The real question is, can you keep up with me? Look, I didn't mean to offend you, buddy. Oh, no, no. You've been on the mainland for what, a whole afternoon now? I'm sure you know best. Why don't we make it a test, eh? I'll meet you on the other side of the district. Try not to die on the way. Marco, you douchebag. Alright, well, guess, guess I'm doing this on my own, Marco. Let's see here. Are there, I feel like I don't... I, I would fight the enemies here, but I don't even think I have to. What is... What is this thing? The treasure, treasure Shibiki. I guess we'll all, we're all killing this Treasure Shibiki. And I deal no damage to the Treasure Shibiki. This thing just keep dropping loot? Um, okay. Well, you guys can handle them. I'm gonna run over here to where I need to get to. Marco, are you over here? Is this really all as far as I needed to get. Where is... Oh, there you are. There you... Let me interact. There we go. Ah, you made it. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Exactly what kind of farmer are you? Well, get into that later. For now, this place is crawling with those faceless thugs. I took a few on my way... Or took a few... Took out a few on my way here. But I didn't spot any sign of Giovanni. Did you find him? Sorry, Marco. Well, why don't we ask those masked gentlemen and their unfortunate captive over there? There's only three of them and two of us. I'd say that gives us the advantage, wouldn't you? I don't think you know math, Marco. Come on, did you really come this far to turn back now? Between the two of us, we'll make quirk work with them. All right, all right, all right. Let's 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 do it. Oh, there's one really big dude. Okay, back up. Marco! Marco's just sitting in the corner. Marco! Marco, you can't be this useless, buddy. Marco! Hello! Hello, Marco. Are you gonna... What if I lead him over here? Marco! Marco, you are useless. Marco, I've never seen someone so useless ever. Marco, you are worthless. What are you doing? Uh, that was a, that was a worthwhile trade. That was a worthwhile trade. If I can get up and not get murdered. There we go. Yeah, Marco. Thanks for all your help. You were very... We really took them on 2v3. It was definitely not a 1v1. Alright, Professor Vitino. No, please. He looks pretty dazed. Oh, my poor head. How could this have happened? He's holding a piece of paper. Prana is very... I'll read this. Prana is very dangerous. Need to discuss with Professor Orfina. She seems to know something about the staff. Fertilizer prototype is stolen. These damn sponsors sent a threatening letter. Okay, it's just a recap of how he got taken. Alright, so let's go in here. Um, ah, here we go. Orfina's staff. There we go. Alright, Marco. I've got the staff. God damn it, I just found a note on one of the, these bodies. It's far worse than I thought. These faceless are no mere city gang. There's gang. There's something bigger going on here. Giovanni, you foolish, stubborn boy. What have you gotten yourself into? So what's our next move? 
From the looks of it, your quests for answers and my missing boy are linked. That makes us allies. But this can't be solved with knives alone. We need a schemer. We need to speak with Don Diego. How are you two connected, anyway? Uh, Diego and I both served House Sorza in our own way. Back before the Federation was formed. He has a head of... Or he has a head for plots and intrigue. Me? Let's just say I manage the more practical side of things. Before I turned in my knives for plowshares, people feared the name Marco Morta. And recently, out of retirement apparently, here, I'll take the professor home, you take this note, it says the Faceless are targeting Nav Navara next, that's where I'll go to look for my boy. Good luck, Marco. Thanks, and a word of advice, if you want to continue with this kind of work, you'll need better equipment. There's a skilled fighter and craftsman in the ancient amphitheater uh, to the southwest. His name is Redford. You should pay him a visit when you have a chance. Tell him Marco sent you. Thank you. Marco. And he gave me a tunic. Nice. Okay, so we need to head to the western uh, Karzakor gate to get better gear. Um. Oh yeah, that hunter's tunic is way better. Make sure everything is equipped. We are good. Unlocked a new combo. And we have new mail. Okay, sweet. Two players, holy trial unlocked. Nice. We're unlocking all sorts of cool stuff. Alright, so let's get over here. I guess we can stop and get this chest since it's literally right here. Please, no one come up behind me and murder me. Thank you. Happy my health regened on level up. That was nice. Uh, okay, good. I don't have to actually leave, or I don't have to go around. I can go out this gate right here. I think. Well, um, it wants me to go this way, right? That's the way. I think. I think I'm going. I think I'm going the right way. Not entirely sure, but I think I'm going the right way. There's the defend the food wagon quest. I'll help here. Because this is a little bit of a combat section, I will help out. Even though these guys are like my level and I don't do that much damage. So I need to kill five thieves. Okay, there's two down. Get this guy next. Getting a little bit more used to these combos. I need to try out. I need to try. I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta regen my arrows. There we go. Okay, back it up. Let's go clean them up. Uh, okay, we completed it. I gotta meet the mag wagon captain, guard captain. Huh, where did those bandits come from? I can breathe a little easier now. Thank you. What do these faceless want anyway? Why try to weaken the city like this? Ooh. Nice. Can I... Does it, does it really matter? They're all the same. Thank you. Okay, so we got better gear. Uh, chest pee? No. Uh, what was it? Shoulder piece. Here we go. Not a lot better, but it's better. So, that's really all that matters. Okay, let me try to figure out where the heck I'm supposed to be going now. Uh, there's some mining area over here. So, let's do this real quick. Gives us some experience. There we go. I'm not going to get them all, but I wanted to get at least that one. It's like we got ourselves a pyre here. Gotta make sure and activate those when I get the chance. Okay, I think I'm going the right way, but I'm still not sure. Let's go ahead and gather once. I like this game. It's a nice change of pace from BDO. I, I love BDO. We all know that. But this is a nice... This is a nice change of pace. It's a fun really fun change of pace from BDO. I don't know how I don't know how else to phrase it than that, but yeah, it's just a it's a really nice, different, unique 
it's unique enough. I mean, it's not, like, super unique, but it's unique enough from other games that it's actually pretty nice. Uh, I want to go in here and activate the Soul Pyre here. I think this is where we need to be anyway. But I gotta make sure. Yeah, here he is. Redford. Welcome to the glorious amphith ancient amphitheater. Once this place was a marvel, marvel of the old empire. These days, it's a pitiful slum, home to the evicted residents of the demolished district. I hear I, you can improve my equipment. You need help improving your weapons and armor? Now, why would I want to do a thing like that? Uh, Marco Morda sent me. Marco Morda. I'll be damned. I thought that old cutthroat died years ago. As much as I'd like to help you, I can't craft any new equipment right now. I'm low on materials, and we need every hand we have to help defend this place. What do you mean? The souls of those who fell in the old empire's arena have suddenly returned. Their leader is the shade of an infamous gladiator, and he's, and he's nigh untouchable. My men and I are doing our best to keep him trapped inside, but it's a losing battle. I could defeat this ghost for you. Truly, the people here have already lost their homes once. They have nowhere else to go. If you think you can actually put this undead warrior to rest, you, we would all be in your debt. Consider it done, Redford. Well then, that changes things. I still can't leave my post to help you to help improve your gear, but come to think of it, I may not have to. Tell me, how much do you already know about recipes and crafting? Not enough, I'm afraid. Here, take this crafting recipe and memorize it. It's not much, just a basic mace I designed which you've learned the recipe once you've learned the recipe use the blacksmith forge behind me to craft one for yourself i can't hold your hand though you'll need to gather your own materials if you want to do it right where can i find the materials there are iron nodes that can be mined all around i already mined them ha 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 <laughs> the ancient amphitheater you may have to search around a bit but you'll find them easily easily if you use your map turn when i've finished my mace okay i think i can probably make this i have a bunch of stuff but i don't know i'm assuming i need to make the bow right or no wait this is salvaging equipment how do i make wait um use redford's maces i oh in my bag to learn my recipe okay what is this under okay use this okay so obtain wrought iron Okay, so I guess I don't have the iron. Okay, let's go back out here. I don't know. I just need, like, an example. Like, give me one easy wrought iron. Is it just going to tell me to go out here and... Alright, well, let's try this. I have regular iron. I don't have wrought iron. There's one. Okay, let's... Uh, hold on. I want to get this. While we're here, we definitely need to hit this up. Gotta unlock the teleporters. Um, we need one more iron. Looks like right over here. Ooh, level six. Kind of tough. There we go. Clean that up. Alright, I guess I gotta wait for this iron to come back. Um, yeah. Let's go over here. I guess I can just... Can I just, like, yoink these people's gold? I guess I can just yoink it. Okay, let me mine this, actually. There's, there's my second wrought iron, so now I just need to craft it. That will help you guys kill the treasure, Shibiki. Okay, now I want to collect some gold. Look at all that. Look at all the gold. Beautiful. Okay, there's plenty for everybody. It's kind of nice. Plenty for everyone to collect. I'm going to help out a lot. I'm going to charge this all the way up and smack it. There we go. Nice damage to him. Grab some gold armor fortification stones. Nice. More gold. How close is he to death? Gonna get more arrows. Hurry up. 
I don't. The other one we didn't kill is a. Wait, did we all. Did, did he die? I can't even tell. I can't lock on him. There we go. He's at 1%. Come on, kill him. I want to see what happens if he dies. Did we. I think we killed him. Nice! We, we killed him. Got some decent rewards, too. Cool. Cool. Okay. Well, back to what we were doing. That was really cool. Happy to see. We got some weapon and armor fortification stones, which I'm going to assume are not extremely rare, but they're very much necessary. That's what I'm going to guess. But those are kind of cool. It's kind of like a... It makes it feel more MMO... MMORPG to have, you know, to, to have, like, multi-enemies there that we're fighting. Or, I don't, not multi-enemies. One enemy that we're all banding together to kill. It's like a boss that's not really a boss. Alright, craft that. I'm gonna craft these greaves. Because I have enough iron ore to do it. Get myself some better pants. Okay, so... Let's put our better pants... I can't put my pants on. Why can't I equip them? Oh, it doesn't really say... It doesn't say why I have... Why I can't equip them. I have no idea. Okay. Alright, Redford. Welcome to... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. Okay, I finished crafting the mace you asked me to do. Let's see how well you've done. Here you go. You're more talented than I thought. You've picked up the basis quicker than most. Now that you've learned how it's done, you can craft whatever you need yourself. It may take time to gather the necessary materials, but good gear is worth it in the end. Th thank you? I don't... I thought I was supposed to kill someone. I know it's not much of a reward, but I look at... I took a look at that staff of yours while you were gone. Interesting work. I managed to repair it, but it will need to be fortified to unleash its full potential. Head to that equipment specialist across the room and see if you can fortify the staff. Good idea. Yeah, okay. It's just gonna tell me about enhancing. I'm just gonna let this dude actually tell me about enhancing. Ah, you're the one Redford's been training up, right? What do you want? Uh, Lady of Light, that's a magnificent piece of work you've got there. Enhancements like I've never seen. I can see how it was designed to be improved over time, too. Let me just try to fortify it. There, it is done. Whoever this belongs to, I return it as soon as possible. It's probably worth a fortune. Thank you, I will. By the way, have you fortified your own equipment yet? It's a good idea to get that in that habit. Fortifying a piece of equipment improves its power. It costs a little coin, but it'll give you a fighting edge. If you've got any weapons or armor on you that you'd like to fortify, you should try it now. Sure, I'll try it. Great, you can fortify an item five times. After that, you need to upgrade it to fortify it further. You ready? Yes, let's do it. I will fortify my bow. Enhancing this item will bind it to... Yeah, that's fine. Makes it uh, 23. Can I fort... I can fortify it again. I have 52,000 coinage. Wow, did not think I had that much. So plus two... Is it just coins? Is that all it costs to upgrade? I think it is. Sweet! Then we're gonna get this all the way to plus five. Awesome. So... Oh, now we need an equipment upgrade stone. Awesome. So I want to upgrade this as well. The quiver. We have plenty of gold, in my opinion, right now in the game. Maybe it'll become an issue later. But for right now, I think we have plenty to get our stuff fortified all the way up. Have a lot of gold. I'm going to go ahead and fortify the stuff here. So we get on both two plus five. Great gear score and attack now. Happy about that. So now we need to tell Redford that I've enhanced my equipment. Welcome to the... Okay. Okay, I've enhanced my equipment. Well, now you've learned the craft items as well as how to fortify and upgrade them. And as a little bit of bonus, we even managed to repair that broken staff for your professor friend. Are you still willing to follow up on your end of the deal? Will you face the Undead Gladiator? Yes, I will go challenge him right now. This is this is what I wanted. Huh. Okay, so we need to kill... I need to kill eight of these bandits. 
I don't know if the roving specter is considered the bandits. Uh, no. Okay, well, if that's not a bandit, then... Oh, here we go. There's the big formidable rogues here. Um, where do I fight the guy I'm trying to fight? I guess down here? How do I initiate this? I guess, okay, I guess we're... Oh, this is cool. It's like a community boss. This is, like, really sweet. I'm down for this. This is, like, badass. Stop moving. I'll hit you with the full charge shot. And I'm, I missed. I whiffed it. I gotta, I gotta re-get arrows. And there we go. About to kill him. Get me some arrows back here. Create my little separation there. Looks like we're about to kill him, and there we go. Undead Gladiator is down. That's easy enough. I'll mine this while we're here. This is really cool. I really like this aspect of the game with like the community boss fights. That's really cool. Because, like, in. Hello? There we go. I actually had forgotten how to jump, so. <laughs> <laughs> Forgetting how to jump is kind of tragically sad that I forgot how to jump in a game. I, I keep wanting to hit A because it's A in Black Desert. And then I was like, oh, A doesn't work, so I don't know how to jump now. Um, But yeah, I really love... You have those boss fights in Black Desert where there's like nine of the boss spawned and you're all fighting your own boss. I really much prefer this where you're all fighting a much more difficult boss together. Now, it'll probably be a little bit weird when there's not as many people but for now it's really cool i really like it welcome to the glow okay i keep wanting to read that when it doesn't matter the undead gladiator is gone the wraith is gone then the ancient amphitheater is finally safe well done friend happy to help you out now that you know all about crafting you're welcome to stop by and use my forge anytime but i imagine you're eager to return that staff to its rightful owner she's in galopa's farm you said i'm headed there now farewell redford Okay, so I think this is a great place to call it an episode. Um, in the next one, we will uh, we will go ahead and return the staff to Professor Orfina. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. Uh, having a lot of fun with this game. Um, looking forward to full release. Uh, they said maybe at the end of the beta they'll have an actual release date for the game. That should be awesome. Hopefully it doesn't compete with Fantasy Star Online 2. Because I'm also very excited for that as well. So we'll see. Um, I'll stop talking and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.